Welcome to the Cybersecurity Competition Federation Show. I'm Dan Manson. I teach computer information systems at Cal Poly Pomona and serve as principal investigator for a National Science Foundation grant to help form an umbrella organization over cybersecurity competitions. The Cybersecurity Competition Federation can support the development of skill at a large scale by bringing cybersecurity competitions under an umbrella organization which will help players of all ages and skill levels identify a point of entry into a continuum of cybersecurity competition experiences. With a focus on communication and promotion, the CCF maintains the autonomy of competition creators, supports their business models, and does not interfere with their sponsorship or funding sources. This week, we tell the story of EC Council's Cyber Olympics and the University of Maryland University College Cyber Padawans. The International Council of E-Commerce Consultants, EC Council, is a member-based organization that certifies individuals in various e-business and security skills. The UMUC Cyber Padawans, composed of students, alumni, and faculty, study in a variety of cybersecurity and IT programs at UMUC. We spoke by phone recently with Eric Lopez, Senior Director at EC Council, and Jeff Japutra, Program Chair, Cybersecurity at UMUC. have a passion about this because we all have full-time jobs we all have a full course load and we all have varying strengths in cybersecurity so I think it's that motivation that passion that we all share that help drive us to be successful I thought you know what I want to be on that team those people are the best of the best and that's who I want to learn from so I came out, I passed the, the test to get in, went to the competition, and the four of us won first place for UMUC. It's a good experience for them to do these competitions. Uh, they, they get to try out their cybersecurity skills on uh, real life scenarios. All these competitions will, will be great to, to supplement what they're learning in the classroom. I wouldn't have the job I have without my team. I wouldn't be going where I'm going without the team. But the team really made me who I am and who I will be going forward. So it's actually been significantly important to me. On the line for CyberFed today, we have Eric Cole, uh, Senior Director with Cyber Olympics, and Jeff Japutra, who is the coach of the University of Maryland University College Cyber Padawans. Eric, Jeff, welcome to CyberFed. Thank you for having me. Thank you. So, Eric, uh, Jeff, we just saw a, a couple of video clips on the EC Council Cyber Olympics and the University of uh, Maryland Cyber Padawans. And congratulations to both of you. Cyber Olympics looks like a fantastic global competition and the Cyber Padawans look like a, one of the, uh, the top teams in the country. Um, Eric, can you tell us a little bit about uh, the Cyber Olympics and what the goal is? Yeah, absolutely. Um, EC Council Foundation launched the Cyber Olympics in, of course, in 2011 um, to, to really kind of uh, promote you know, uh, security awareness and, and, and to the competition and to the games. Obviously, um, you know, cyber games is something that's, that's super popular these days. But our objective was, you know, since we have the certification side for, on a for-profit side, we we got the 501c3 nonprofit to 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 host the games to to bring not just the U.S. teams together, but to play internationally. So we run the cyber limits globally, and we work real closely with the ITU of the UN to give the the the, the players a chance to come out and, and compete for their country. Jeff, your team won Cyber Olympics last year. Was this against 
competition from other countries? Yes, yes. Uh, Cyber Olympic was an international competition. They broke the competition into a uh, logistics region, <clears throat> one per continent. And so initially, my teams, we should have multiple teams competing in Cyber Olympics. Only one of them made it to the, the world final, but we competed in the North American regional Cyber Olympics first. Uh, one of my teams finished first, uh, and so they qualified to rep North America to the World Cyber Olympics final. Uh, there we competed with uh, eight other teams uh, from Netherlands, from Brazil, from Peru, India, Indonesia, Australia, uh, Bolivia. That's all. I, I cannot remember if I miss anybody. This is There's fantastic. Africa that couldn't make it there. So, hi guys, this is Jason. I have a, a, I have a coaching question. I'm always very curious about what successful teams do that may be different than teams that aren't as successful. So from a coaching perspective, maybe could you walk us through like a, a typical week with the Padawans? Uh, like what kind we, of practice do you guys do? We do have regular practice. Like that? We, the, the university is uh, nice enough to provide us with a space, a uh, lab with some resources. Uh, we have some very dedicated team members who organize a uh, monthly get-together. And the get-together is not, not – there's some social aspect to that, but – for the most part, it's really teaching each other. So every month, they'll pick somebody who's really good at a certain aspect of, of cybersecurity and then give a lecture or a seminar. Eric, um, I want to um, ask you a little bit about the name of the competition, Cyber Olympics. So that has both an international connotation and a sports connotation. Uh, did you choose Olympics for those reasons? Yeah, actually, the, the, the name was chosen before I took over the division, but that's exactly why. They wanted to, to make so, you know, something that was recognizable and, and global and be associated with the competition. Something to, you know, cause that, that, like you said, sports and, and, and games, you know, going all the way back to the, to the Greek time, you, know, you had this, these countries competing against each other, so you have this really great spirit of competition and sportsmanship. So they love the idea of being able to say, hey, listen, let's, let's talk about you know, a tradition of, of this kind of competition, but instead of just going out and, and having a physical sport, this is more like kind of a, a, a mental challenge. We're going we're gonna to play, you know, men, mental sports games, and it's going gonna, it's gonna to depend on your skills and your knowledge set to be able to kind of compare that or, or take that and challenge an, another team, either in your country or in another country, to be able to, to uh, showcase your skills. Eric, uh, can you talk a little bit about the um, deadline for registering for the competition and if a college wants to compete, what they should do? Yeah, absolutely. We, we are running the, the, the deadline runs at the end of this month, so it's the ninth today. And if, if a college team wants to compete, we're actually waiving the fees for college teams. So th those folks can reach out to my, my conference director, who is uh, Devana Valdez, and um, her email address is devana.valdez at eccouncil.org. And so you can spell that D-E-V-O-N-A dot V-A-L-D-E-Z at eccouncilfoundation.org. So, so if you reach out to Devana or even the folks at this show, we, they can get, get us in contact with us. There's a, a registration page and come into the college team and get, get your fees waived. Thank you, Eric. Thank you, Jeff. It's been a pleasure having you on the CyberFed show today. Thanks, guys. Jason, what does Uncle Jimmy have in store for us this week? You know, this guy's been down in the turnip basement baking up challenges. This week he has a hard challenge for everybody. Um, you can go to the, his website to look at it, UncleJimmy'sChallenges.com. Uh, I've played with it. It's pretty fun. It takes uh, quite a few steps to solve, which is why I, I agreed with him that it should be a hard category. So there you go. I get the impression Uncle Jimmy is really getting into this now. Do you think he's actually learning about these challenges himself? Yeah, you know, I, I talked to him last night, actually, and, and in the course of building challenges, I think he's taken the right approach in that he's gone not only to study past challenges that other people have put out, but I think the guy's actually getting into doing it himself. You know, at some point, I think Uncle Jimmy is going to have to enter one of these competitions. You know, I wouldn't be surprised to find a pesto sauce team on a scoreboard sometime. <laughs> Thank you, Jason. Thanks, Dan. Next week, 
we go back to a Cyber Patriot camp, this time at Facebook, to tell how a group of middle school girls are going up the ladder and learning the ropes of cybersecurity. If you have a competition you would like us to cover in a future show, please contact us at cyberfed.org. I'm Dan Manson. See you next week.